you are. How the devil are we? Welcome back to the triumphant return of Down and Open. I do hope you've been keeping well. But yes, hell of a time to be a Transformers fan. How we feel about Earthrise? I'm going to have to go off about this for a second, if you'll excuse me. Brilliant name. Everything looks great. Friggin' new grapple, new hoist. I can't believe it's the War for Cybertron trilogy and just we're just going back to Earth modes already. It's only round two. And like that Optimus Prime definitely makes the Siege one completely redundant, doesn't it? Because I think a, a lot of folks felt the same way as I did about that. It's like, it is great, but it's so close to the traditional design that it's like, why have you bothered? But it turns out they saved it for 2020 and put out the Cybertron one first so that we'd still buy it. It's like so transparent, but you know, they ain't stupid. But like still, it still gives me that good feeling. You know, it's more G1 in quantity and style, which is a little boring, but uh, they've only revealed like five things. I'm sure there'll be surprises. They just lead with the good stuff, don't they? Cause you know, you and I are gonna be well up for Ironworks, but the general view is gonna be like, where's Optimus Prime? So yeah, you just gotta, you gotta make them happy. You gotta give them what they want. But anyway, should we do some boxes and that? Box 55, one handy street car ting, I'm NG1, 5VL United Kingdom. Right, got a few things waiting in the back, so uh, don't panic if you don't see your package today. We will get to it. I've got like eight things. I feel like that's a show. Let's begin here, why not? This is from uh, Joe in Australia. Very pleasing shape, this. It's almost a perfect cube. God, speaking of cube, flipping Cyberverse is on Netflix now in the UK. So I've been catching up on that, and yeah, it's really good, in it? Starts off really wobbly, like it's almost there, but B's radio talk thing is really great in. But like the back half of season one is really good, and season two's been great so far. Okay, read first. It's a command, no less. Not a request, but a command. If you're a regular viewer and longtime fan, also a big fan of G1.5, although I'm more of a Turbo Master guy, as opposed, all oh, right, because I'm a Predator guy. Okay, okay. Hmm, do I want that online? Do I want footage of me saying I'm a Predator guy? Made you something as a thanks for all the laughs. Color scheme is a bit predictable, but hope you like it anyway. Sincerely, Joe. All right. Uh, <laughs> it's a Gundam that is in the colors of a Skywarp. Whoa, okay. All right, I'm no expert in what Gundam is what, but I'm getting a heavy, uh, uh, wing Zero vibe. The old roundy shoulders and the giant splayed head ears. All right, let's throw this together real quick. I'm gonna call him Wing Zero, but Zero with an X. The new metal version. All right, we got wings, we got sort of feathery wings, and a backpack with two little plugins and two. All right, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be messy. This is not super complicated, but I'm perfectly ready to get it completely wrong. I think it goes like so. Yeah, there we are. Pethos. Friggin' Final Fantasy VIII. I just played through Final Fantasy VIII on the remaster, actually. And it's really not that good, is it? Like, I see what they were going for, but it's so scrappy. Like you can really tell that they repurposed loads of the stuff in it, like all the events are kind of out of sequence, and like the levels and backdrops are so out of place. Like how out of place is the fire cavern? It's the first thing you do as an exam. Like you're really gonna take your students through a fire cavern to capture a monster. I'm like, do, do they all do that? Are they just infinite ifrits? Is it like a Pokemon? Anyway, yes, big feathery wings and uh, machine-like struts, and on he goes. Shut that other hand on real quick. Whoa, look at that. Wing Gundam Zero. Custom, I think, in Skywarp colors. Yeah, can't help it, I quite like that. It's so edgy, but it's just beautiful. Beautifully done, Joe, that is really something. What the heck is all this? It's like blockbusters, isn't it? I'll take an H, please, Bob. But yes, while we're on Gundams, I must give a shout out to uh, Nathan at the Clutter Desk, who's sorted me out with some really nice stuff for some builds, but uh, he's also working on a custom um, Turbo Master combiner. So I'll put a thing up here, please do check him out. He's working really hard on it. Not having the easiest time with this stand, uh, that'll have to do for now. <laughs> That's crap. That is not how that works. Thank you, Joe. That is really quite nice indeed. That's so goth. That's quite well with a barricade, doesn't he? Subtle drop, I got barricade, way. <laughs> but yes, UK folks, please do check out your local Smiths. I picked up a barricade, uh, Impactor, Mirage, and Springer. Cause you know, let's get excited for Earthrise way, but let's not forget about Siege, cause it is still happening currently right now. All right, one down. Huh. That's the bin, that little bit of floor down there, that's the bin. All right, we got one packet from uh, Daniel in Lancashire. Let's just rip this open, see what the crack is. It's another Gundam. Greetings, Theutius Maximus. I present you a KOSD Gundam. It's a spare item from wish.com. God, they always show you the weirdest stuff, don't they? At least you got robots. They always show me like catheters. You'll soon discover that they took the super deformed aspect too far because it 
barely fits together. Oh, great. Have fun, Danny Annie. Ooh, warrior. All right, so it's pretty much a little super deformed Gundam fella. Is it all gonna be Gundam today, I wonder? There he is. I don't know if that's a knockoff of a particular character, but it's a general Gundam energy, right? If you ask me to draw a Gundam from memory, it'd probably be like that. Like the reflector of Gundam, just as normal as it gets. This is an odd crossover of interest. I like Gundams, I like knockoffs, and now I've got a Gundam knockoff. Nicely done, Danny. A little envelope? Should we do that? Otaku United. United Studio, Norfolk, Virginia. Okay. Have I just got a pair of scissors? Let's just slice this up. Lord Unicron, that's what they call me. Oh my god, Unicron's nearly there. Do you think it'll make it? I think the deadline's like tomorrow. Thank you for creating such quality content. Here we go, the old ego attack. Your enthusiasm and positivity are uncommon. You were the one who inspired me to get Nitro Zeus after that fantastic commentary. He is now one of my favorite figures from the movie line. He is bloody good, isn't he? Please keep up the good work and I will continue binging repeatedly on it. You're one of my absolute favorite YouTubers. Oh. From King Starscream at Otaku United. That's uh, Otaku United Studio on Facebook. Oh. There goes my ego. <laughs> Okay, we got a bunch of badges, pretty big pin badges, of a sad looking animated Starscream head. Oh no, what's wrong mate? And a tiny golden chain, I think I know what to do with that. Really need an excuse to get old Nitro Zeus out. Are we ready? Get on there. God, he's, he's getting hooked on all his horns. There we are. <laughs> Tell your wife I miss her titties. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> It actually looks so much better with that. Can we give him one of these? I feel like if I put this on when I'm in a really good mood, it'll just balance me out a bit. Bring it back down to reality. Maybe I'll put it on on my birthday when it's like, it's okay to wear a badge on your birthday, but also I feel sad about getting older. It's... Anyway, thank you, Otaku Studios. Another! God, thinking about Cyberverse. They just revealed they're doing a figure of Macadam, which is the guy who looks exactly like me and also kind of has the same name. So if I acknowledge it on the show, will you please stop tagging me? I can't, I can't deal. My phone is dying. But it's a builder figure. They're, how rarely do they do a builder figure in Transformers? And it's the only one from Cyberverse I really want. And I've got to buy eight figures to collect the bits. <sighs> All right. I mean, I'm going to do it. Just I'd rather just buy that one. Anyway, dear few, please excuse my terrible handwriting. I was in B&M recently. Okay, say no more. From Kevin Morgan, all right. Speaking of getting tagged a lot, this has been showing up in B&M. They're doing oversized, I can't imagine how bad this is gonna be. An oversized version of the worst combiner that ever happened. Jeez, that's enormous. Love the uh, label on there. That's a nice uh, creative bit of deco, isn't it? I don't know if I'm gonna get these because I already did a whole video about knockoff Bruticuses. So I could, you know, oh, do a follow up, but I, just, I, I wanna do some new stuff, you know. But I am still morbidly curious about this. So happy to have one at hand. Ooh, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it is bad, but next to that other one, the other knockoff blast off from before, knock off blast off. There's a there's something there. There's a joke in there somewhere. Yeah, it's actually less than terrible, you know. That's not too bad. I actually really like these colors too. Like that copper is pretty poppin', and the blue's kind of a nice deep azure. This is neither bad enough to be hilarious or good enough to be legit good. It's right in the mediocre valley, and uh, I don't know if there's anything interesting about that. I am not furious about this. So yeah, B and Emma got these. In at the moment if you fancy some uh, giant actually not terrible knockoff action i have seen much worse but uh, okay we've had one on the channel please stop tagging me cheers kev anyway this one has my curiosity peaks it's a very clearly a box in there, inside a bag, with bubble wrap around the box. I don't know what, quite what to expect, but we shall soon find out. Cut away from you, Thew. Somebody keeps telling me cut away. Cut away! There we go. I think I know what this is. <sighs> it's the onslaught one of those. <laughs> Okay. Fair enough, I am the knockoff boy. I'll knit down b and I'll get the rest of them. Uh, it doesn't even say who this is from. Anyway, that's two out of five, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe you, that's so cheeky. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, thank you. Thank you, whomever. I understand. I feel you. It has been a little while since we did a knockoff video. I always say, oh, I'll do one soon, and then it's just, no, I'll just never get around to it. And I was looking the other day in the cupboard over here, the cupboard of death, rammed 
with knockoffs. I'm not even kidding. It, I can't even open it. So if only for the sake of clearing that out a bit, I simply must make a knockoff video soon. If this is another one of those B&M things, I swear to God, it's about the right size. Here we go then. Salutation, few. I came across your channel with a coincidence and I find your humor delightful. Therefore, I decided to send you some of my stuff. I have literally too many hobbies, so I have to slim some of them down. Hashtag sad face. Best regards from your Viking friend, Christian. All right, let's see what we have then. This is a, uh, oh Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> An incredibly awkwardly packaged knockoff jazz. Like, he's got his head down and his arms up. Why would you possibly? <laughs> It's kind of halfway to car mode. One or the other, man. Vorwandler Sigtil in Sportwagen. Is that Dutch? Where's this from? Denmark. Oh, genuine Viking land. All right, and this other one's like properly gift wrapped. I'm not a bomb, winky face. It's gonna still somehow be a B&M robot, isn't it? <laughs> Speaking of, I did actually have a package confiscated by Border Force. It sent me a very scary letter. It wasn't a bomb. It was some beef jerky. Well, I didn't realize that had happened because I get loads of snacks and sweeties in the post all the time. But because it's meat, and not just like Chucky or whatever, it's a product of animal origin. So they can't let it in the country because of uh, disease control. So they just sent me a scary letter saying, we've got your beef jerky, you twat, and we're gonna destroy it. I'm like, all right, fine, take it. I don't want it that much. Anyway, on the pretense that this is not a bomb, what the heck? Johnson J Robot. My God, it's like a... <laughs> It's a gardener robot. I've got to have a look at this. Come on. Whoa. <laughs> Unironic cackling. Johnsered J robot is made from Johnsered products. He's got a chainsaw for a hand. Groovy. And uh, is that like a leaf blower? Freaking lawnmower feet. That's amazing. <laughs> That's so shit. I love it. Does it do anything? Does it work? It looks like it's got buttons on, but they, none of them go in. Ah, uh, a robot made out of lawnmowers. There's got to be a pun. Groundworks. I don't know, something like that. Sorry, we're a bit light on the old Transformer content today, aren't we? We just got loads of random robots and Gundam stuff. So that's a John Sered J Robot 2013. It's better than Valvatron. I'm not sure what to do with that. Might hit it with an actual lawnmower. All right, a couple more. This is one from Jason in Canada. I'm pretty sure I know what this is because I paid him for it. This isn't even really a P.O. Box Prezi. This is just something I bought. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Siege Ratchet. Actual deluxe generations Ratchet. Why is why does he always get so sidelined? Like Ratchet's great, everyone likes him. And this does look great, but it's a freaking exclusive. Is it Target, I think? Only in North America? That's so rude. But yeah, it does look quite nice. I, I don't know if I'll bother reviewing it. It's just Ironhide again. What I might do is just repurpose the uh, Ironhide video and just like place this over it. Why don't you join me for a cheeky Sauvignon and a hearty slice of Ratchet? It, but yes, Ratchet is up in this. Thank you, Jay. A couple of uh, letters real quick. I have a horrible feeling this is definitely the same guy who drew me being killed by Tentakill. It's me having a makeup picnic <laughs> with Tentakill. <laughs> Since the last picture I sent seemed to weird you out, I sent you a new one that's more your speed. Love the show. I do prefer eating snacks with friends to being murdered. A feast of friendship filled with love and libations. <laughs> Please do one of these every week. <laughs> ah, I love this show. Even if nobody else does. Right. Bright green baby envelope. Dear Few, how are you? I've been watching your channel for a year now and think that you're funny. Oh, thanks. Here's a picture of Optimus Prime. I'm 10 and I'm not the best at drawing. <laughs> Sincerely, Gavin. Ah, oh. <laughs> what a much ruler. Ah, oh, nice one, Gavin. Party on, buddy. Thanks for watching. Do I set a good example? I don't know if I do. I did notice you crossed out hilarious and put funny instead. Fair enough. I'm not that good. All <sighs> right then, last one. This has been a funny old mix of gear, hasn't it? Two of the same set of knockoffs. Nice, heavy, standard box to finish off. Just the classic. Here we go. Dear Mr. Smadoweth. Esquire. Oh, that's my name backwards. Okay. I wrote this letter in Comic Sans because Brexit has stolen my will to live. <laughs> Tell me about it. At least I have your cool videos and luscious beard to entertain me when I feel like garbage. So here's some stuff. From KTHO. Oh, from K Thanks Bye. All right. <laughs> yeah, I know how you feel. It wears you down, doesn't it? Any whomst. Ooh, look at all this. Yeah. Friggin' bubble wrap me. Blast from the past here. This, my friend, is the Legends class uh, Revenge of the Fallen Devastator. There's Overload. Overload? Is he getting a leader class figure? As if. What a glow up. But yes, here they are, all the lads. I've 
put this on the show recently, but in the other colour scheme, didn't I? Scrapper! Friggin' Mix Master. This was a good set, wasn't it? They're quite good fun. I've actually got a full review of them up over here if you want to have a look at it. But I did get rid of mine a bit ago, so it's nice to see these again. Thank you, mate. Uh, we have a certain Optimus Prime. I believe this is the Evasion Mode, wasn't it? Dark of the Moon? No. Age of Extinction? Evasion Mode Optimus Prime. I've no idea how this works. It was a big hit at the time. It was apparently very good, but uh, I've never managed to transform it. It's quite tricky. I've got a knockoff of it, so I shall uh, do my homework on this, maybe see if there's an MGO video of it. And for now, I shall say thank you very much, mystery person. Uh, a further Optimus? Ooh, okay. Never seen anything like this before. Done that before, haven't I? <laughs> Which figure is that? It's got the uh, movie-verse head. Is this like the Legends Evasion Mode guy? All right, that's kind of cool. It does transform exactly the same as the G1 figure. That's quite cool. So I'm guessing that's Legends Evasion Mode guy or possibly from the Bumblebee movie. I don't know. But whichever it is, uh, it's quite good, isn't it? A couple more. I think this is um, R.I.D. R.I.D. Drift, isn't it? It's got to be. Looks a lot like Shadow Raider because it's orange. I'm not sure what Drift's robot mode looks like, but we'll have a go. I know what it looks like, but I don't know the the minutiae of it. I don't know which way this is gonna work exactly. Yeah, there you go, it's all right, isn't it? It's like the baggy sort of early 2000s inspired samurai fella. He's got the two things like old bludgeon did. Does the little one go at the top? I don't know. Is there an etiquette for that? Not bad, mate. His demeanor kind of contradicts the colors because he's so sort of reserved and stoic, but also like bright day glow orange. There we are, yes, Sensei. You know I had to do it to him. Don't actually do the voice. <laughs> and finally we have the entertainer staple, Studio Series Thundercracker. Not bad, my friend, not bad. That jet mode, back to the old Nitro Zeus, that jet mode is rather something, isn't it? It honestly looks so much better in this color scheme. Normally I'd be like, oh, I'd like a Skywarp of that, but I don't know if I do. I think this is, it's there, it's there for me. It's got the pure G1 energy and the meticulous movie-verse detail. This, this is a good cross-section, it's a nice, sort of hybrid style. But yes, entertainer special, they just cannot shift these. How do they end up with so many? There's racks and racks of them. They're all marked down to like 13 quid. They just cannot get rid of them. First, a big thanks there, my mystery friend. I certainly hope I can help to lift the gloom. Oh, what a journey this has been. <laughs> From the siege sleekness to the B&M bullshit. So until next time, please do keep it few. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining me this time. This was a hoot. And massive cheers to new supporter Michael Mayo. Not really a random one, but your name's really fun to say. Way. All right, catch you on the next one. Be sure to subscribe for more Thew's Awesome Transformers reviews. Limited appeal, keeping it real.